Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Alma. We're about to jump into the kitchen and do a recipe, but wanted to pop in real quick and say, guys, macros. During our June challenge, let's make sure we are doing our best to track our macros. You might see that during this June challenge, my food style changes a little bit. I might be doing individual servings versus mass production for meal planning, and that's just so that it's easier to track macros. I say that, guys, but it really isn't that difficult of a thing to do. After you cook your meal, get your scale, put your cooked meal in a container, put a container on the scale, measure it out, if it's 80 ounces, you can say, hey, I've got 10 eight ounce servings or eight 10 ounce servings, however you wanna distribute it, not that hard. But just for simplicity and um, ease of time, I may choose to do things like steaks um, here and there, I don't know. Anyway, it's gonna be probably a little bit different than what we're used to seeing on meal prepping for me. As well as probably doing uh, a few OMADs a week, not every single day, maybe some intermittent fasting, maybe days where I don't do intermittent fasting. As well as I may put maybe one or two days a week of egg fasts, incorporate those. I used to do it all the time, I stopped it, and I really think that was a really good set point for me. I kind of would reestablish my hunger scale when I did that, so I'm looking forward to maybe reestablishing a few uh, days of egg fasts. And plus, who doesn't love a good egg? I love eggs. All right, and then lastly, guys, water. Make sure you're getting in your water. Water, 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 water. Um, ha what's the best way to get your water? Drinking it, I know, right? Really basic. However, let me just share with you what makes drinking water a little bit easier for me, guys. All right, this right here. Actually, not this, this right here, a straw. I find using a straw really helps me get in my water. This cup here, I think I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. Comes in different colors, I think blue and red. I've seen them at Walmart too. So I put my ice in here, I put my water, and I don't know, something about a straw. Seems to me easier to get down the water. Um, if, do you have any nifty tricks that you use? If you do, please put them in the comment section so that we can all benefit from the tricks that we do to get in more water. Let's see, I think that is it for now. Yeah, it's it. So let's go ahead and pop into the kitchen and get started. Right, guys, have a great day. Cheers. Hey guys, all right, so here we are in the kitchen. Do you ever get a hankering for something and you don't quite know how you're gonna compose it? Well, I'm kind of there today. I know I'm gonna make um, some peppers in my air fryer, but I have not exactly come up with the entire concoction. So I already have my two ounces of pork rinds. I'm using my Clancy uh, pork rinds. And I thought, let me go ahead and add some of my wisps to it. So this is 2.12 ounces. So I'm gonna take about one ounce. Okay, so this is gonna go into my food processor. Let's blend away. It goes the wisps, it goes the lid, and pulse away. Transfer to bowl. Here we go, on to the next step. So next guys, I took some cream cheese, I warmed that up for about a minute, and then put in seven ounces of canned salmon, and then some red pepper flakes, let's mix it up. And get it all mixed up, guys. Okay, so I have some leftover bacon from my meal prep. I'm gonna probably take two of these pieces and chop them up into here. Best way to do that, and quickest way, is just take some scissors and cut it on in there. And again, Mix it on up. All right, next guys, we're gonna cut our jalapenos in half. We're gonna core them out. Let's go ahead and stuff these with our loving mixture. All right, let's set these aside. So we're gonna go ahead and grab two eggs. And our pork rind dust, paired jalapenos. Now we're gonna go ahead and dredge them in the two mixtures. All right. All right, from here, guys, I'm gonna take my parchment paper, put it in my air fryer. All right, got it in my air fryer. I'm gonna place my peppers in my air fryer. 
We're gonna do it at about 320, in about 15 minutes. All right, guys, so this mixture was actually perfect. I had just a little bit of eggs left. However, everything else got used. I do I spray a little bit of coconut oil before sticking them into the air fryer. They sound crispy. That looks good, guys. Last one. Ooh. We can let these cool down a little bit, and then I'm gonna do a taste test. All right, guys, here we are. Check it out. So before I taste test this, let me share what I learned about this recipe. So number one, you don't necessarily need the egg. Number two, if you're not gonna use the egg, sprinkle the pork rinds on top, spray it, and put it in the air fryer. Number three, you don't even have to put the pork rinds on until after they cook. I'm excited to try it. See how well cooked through. It cut through the jalapeno quite easily. Mmm, smells like it got a spicy one. Delicious. Oh my gosh. Can you hear that, guys? Can you hear that? Can you hear that crunchy noise? Holy guacamole. That's a good jalapeno, too. It's hot. Enjoy, guys. Hope you try it. Bye bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.